Libra, how are you? If you're new, how welcome? My name is Michelle, and this is, yes, another reading for you because this is your third reading this week. I want to remind you guys that my readings are no day, they are divinely guided, everything has to be one, that everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles can be reversed in between energies. Now, we're going to be talking about uh, Libras with no communication with that specific someone. So, with this said, I want to remind you as well that my um, Again, readings are general. So you don't force it if it doesn't make sense. Don't cry about it. Just let it go, okay? So with this said, I also want to remind you that I am on Spotify. You can find my Spotify in the description box below as well as in the comment, in the pinned comment. And another thing, I've been having a lot of comments and messages into where people be like, where have you been? I have been here. I have been posting. I do post for two languages. Now, I always say to people and where I cannot do more than this into where uh, please uh, check out the playlist into where it tells you um, pretty much the video that you may look for. You know, I haven't stopped. I've been here now. Again, I can't just message every single one of you to like, hey, I got a video, you know. At this point, please make sure to hit that notification bell so you actually don't miss out any of the readings as well as I have created playlists for Spanish readings, for English readings, which all the zodiac signs are in English, all of them. The only thing that are in Spanish are some of Celebrity Tarot, which is on their own playlist. So with this said, please, let's do that. As I said before, I haven't gone anywhere. I've been here. I love you guys so much. Why would I even leave, you know? Why would I even leave? It's just like I am very busy also. I got sick. Um, back to school. My child's autistic. You know, all of those things are part of my life. So with this clarified, and I did it at the beginning so nobody misses out. Now, let's see. Okay. Okay, dogs. So, right now we got perspective, peace, boundaries, intuition, apology, depth, heart fog, intimacy. And then foundation at the bottom. Let me put it right here. We got memories. Okay. So why are you in without communication with this person? Or why are they not communication with you? Now, they want you to actually gain some peace, first of all, and regain perspective. Because I they want to remind you that it's not always about you like you doing something wrong or you not being enough it's not always about you remember that this and they're telling me this with the cards whatever you go through everybody else may be going through as well in their own mind so everybody is struggling in a way shape or form you can make all the excuses you want but it'll actually be the same thing if you were to tell me your experiences and me being like but you know giving like disregarding so they want you to have the same perspective you have over your situations over other people it's not always because you did something wrong period moving from that let me make sure this is on oh there we go last time it was off anyways um they're saying right here that this person is regaining perspective and regaining balance in their life as they know they were not in a good headspace and they were not good for you or to you back then. Um, they actually started to listen to the intuition um, because they're saying that they at one point they had no boundaries, they didn't respect yours. So at this point they realized for whatever reason, uh, that they were a bad person, you know, they were doing things incorrectly. And I do see it's because they matured in a way to perform and they actually have gained more knowing and intuition as well. Uh, they're saying that they may be communicating with you telepathically as well. Just give that a heads up. Now, they're saying right here that you're going to receive an apology coming from this person because of what I just told you. They want you to know that's going to be a, de a deep, deep apology. I do see that this could be a a letter or some sort of communication uh, they want to talk to you because it says right here that it's in very in deep like very in depth like they really 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 uh, value this apology whatever they're gonna say is very valuable valuable and important now the same way here that they are going to apologize first of all and the mixed signals they give you whenever you guys were intimate now intimacy intimacy doesn't always have to be when you have sex it's also talking about 
whenever you guys were hanging out or talking or so, you know, you name it. But they're saying right here that they are sorry because of the mixed signals they constantly give you because of how messed up they were with their blocked emotions, yet they didn't know how to step away from you, but they didn't know how to open up to you. So they're going to apologize for those mixed emotions and those things that they did to you. Now, they're also actually saying that they have found security and st and you know stability into where back then they didn't have any of that this could have been emotionally as well as financially but they're saying right here that they have always had you in their memories and they dwell the memories and they're saying that they it's like they review it and they, they relive it and they have this mixed emotions because of how they know they acted and it's like bittersweet So um, this person either or has a kid or this could be also an, an indication of like they, sorry, wanting to have a family with you. Um, they're saying right here that this person allegedly uh, lost a kid. Um, like maybe somebody got pregnant and uh, like sadly they lost it. Or this could also be into where it's talking about how much they miss you as well because they either or you guys let me put so many ideas or possibilities uh you were in this person's life you had kids with them and they, they miss it or they had something with somebody else in the few, in the past and something happened in their life that was very traumatic as well as they just missing you and missing that they understand that they had a missed opportunity with you and to having a family and being happy right now they're coming in with the energy of their loyalty they want to be loyal to you they're saying hey you know i'm changed i want to be loyal to you um you can rely on me you can believe in me and they say that they understand if you see them as a victim if you see them as it's a lost cause you feel like he or she is victimizing themselves um but they're saying that this person is misunderstood and beginning with them them they did not even understand themselves at the beginning this misunderstanding in in their energies caused a lot of confusion in their behaviors and in their emotions whenever they saw you they felt a lot of things that they haven't felt in a long time or in the first time let's say and because they were so misunderstood they were confused they just were not in the right mindset right they were uncertain unclear and unsure and that's how they acted they're saying right here that you guys are twin flames indeed and this is that you guys mirror each other now you mirrored everything he wanted or she wanted but couldn't have or was afraid to have and this person mirrored the opposite all the fears you couldn't have in a connection or relationship right um you guys did share feelings this was nothing in your head that you think like oh maybe he or she didn't feel it. like they did feel it and this is right here that they reflected the same way yet they decided to act upon it differently because you both were in two different mindsets and situations in life now hoping i do see right here that they're expecting and hoping to see you again uh it's also talking about sunflower uh it's a song from i don't know why it's getting me a song from harry styles i don't know why but either way um there's a song referring uh harry styles that mentions sunflower sunflower and it's like they think about you when they listen to that but this is right here that they're hoping and they're actually having faith and they're saying right here that you could also be hoping and having faith in manifesting perhaps a return and it says right here that you both will have a second chance an opportunity to make amends right and if you see right here the image here is a hand like you know like molding something it says right here that it takes trial and error so just because it's a second third fourth chance that it may come back into your life you know it doesn't mean it's gonna be super perfect it, you got to actually have patience and to mold it and to allow this person to mold themselves too now if you don't want this person uh don't go through it don't let them go through it just walk away live your life and i always say to people when they complain about my videos i'm like babe read the titles they're plain and simple if you went off for it you just want to know and then seem like you don't want to so at this point you're gaslighting yourself and maybe the fly on the wall in your house you know also a lot of flies the fuck freaking summer but i do see right here that there is an apology again 
a very strong apology coming for you, Libra. Coming, coming to you. Anyways, this right here is because they want to release, they want to heal, they want to purify. And also, this could be something that could help you and finally to release and purify and cleanse, you know? Now, it says right here that they were avoiding doing this. The one they were avoiding doing this because they were bluffing and pretending they didn't feel bad for a long time they were bluffing and pretending they didn't miss you so for the longest time they were like avoiding blocking pushing you away uh pushing those feelings away perhaps and it's because they were pretending they were exaggerating their attitudes also they were exaggerating their attitudes back in the back in the day they were definitely wearing a mask and also for the longest time they continued to wear that mask and to pretend like oh i don't miss libra i don't want libra i don't have to apologize to libra you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day karma gets there and you have to review it and you have to review it and they realize oh i'm the wrong person or i was the wrong i was in the wrong <laughs> now they're actually gambling into coming back into your life why because they want a second chance it's this right here you have it right here it's telling you you are in no communication with this person but this person is coming back and they want a second chance why they want a second chance because they want an opportunity to make amends with you they want an opportunity of reconciliation now you want them or not that's your business okay not the ice cream truck like you know what i'm saying like that's your business some people just go crane crane and be like you want me like babe who is you? Who is we? Who is me wanting? Babe, what I want right now is to take a piss and I'm going to hold it all the way to the end of the video. You know what I'm saying? I'm committed. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, you're giving me too much credit, baby. I want I, I want Chipotle. Okay? That's that's what for sure I want. Or Kidoba. Actually, I like Kidoba. It's cheaper. But anyways, more from the year. Now, I do see October and Halloween being freaking important. Maybe you love Halloween or maybe it's just uh, the coming October. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not the right one. That is, I don't even know what the song could be. Oh, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, like, they're coming around Halloween, around October. You move your booty. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, moving from that. There are a lot of coughing today anyways it's just right here that they were like hexed on their own negative mind and um, they have constantly this negativity of like oh no libra's not gonna forgive me oh i'm i'm gonna have to crawl in my knees and backs and teeth and my eyes you know like they're having this negative energy of like oh my gosh it's not gonna work da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. so they do definitely have a lot of negativity because they're freaking freaking scared but they're coming here with loyalty now they were resistant they were resistant and they were spying on you libra so some of you may say oh it cannot be me then don't be you then don't be you but yeah this person was spying on you babe they were spying on you they were secretly timid they make new accounts fake accounts okay now if you don't have any social media maybe maybe they found out where you live like a stalker like that movie you <laughs> kidding no 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 kidding kidding but anyways you know why because you are the feminine divine feminine energy babe you you say you know what okay we done we done like who is i don't care even if you did care and then you continue with your life you stop pushing you stop looking for them and that activated your pheromones that activated your divine feminine energy regardless of your gender because this is energetically okay and where we do not chase we attract now people cry when i say that cry harder so we can care not anyways um that's what i'm saying here now they're saying right here that there is possibilities okay they, oh my goodness i'm so excited okay there's possibilities girl there's possibilities girl there's possibilities it says right here that it's an adventure and risks who doesn't want to get there as risky adventures you know what i'm saying like we live just once maybe mm -hmm. anyways um they're actually <laughs> it's risky they're actually <laughs> adventures it says there's possibilities babe if you say there's stuff for me i don't care I do not care. There's possibilities for most Libras. If you say you're not the one, then you know what you need to do? You know what you need to do? Take a nap. Anyways, 
fantasy. It says right here that you have been fantasizing about this. Or it's so surreal that it feels like it is a fantasy. Like, am I, am I the main character today? I'm not Cinderella in the basement no more. Like, do I actually became the main you did you did fantasy okay <laughs> they're gonna be chasing you babe they're coming to chase you it's just pursuit and toxicity <laughs> you know britney spears got it toxic anyways uh, it's just right here that this is karma karma is bringing this individual back into your life you know why because it's cause and effect is debts you guys have debts to pay most likely they have debts to pay in their karmic energies and yes they're coming because of karma and people be like tell karma babe do i do do i look like hot words like i'm not harry potter i'm not the little I'm not sending no messages you do it you when you see them do them you know what you're afraid of doing it yourself you know people think i'm usps amazon howards from like harry potter i don't know like i'm not none of that no i don't tell no messages besides the cards you tell them <laughs> people be like you need to do I'm like i don't need to do nothing my bladder doesn't even tell me what to do But there was a lot of resistance in their energy saying that, yeah, they were secret admiring you, they were spying on you, blah, blah, blah. They were also confused and unclear and uncertain why they couldn't let you go, why they, they just couldn't. But it's talking about here that it is has this comeback in your life and in their life. It could be different, but it has an important value. It does have an important value and that's why they're coming back though it also says right here that this person had realized realized and had realizations of like what they did wrong when they went in depth into their own subconscious and they actually check what they done they actually understood and had an awakening and understood what they did realizing it and they understood that they need to release the negativity. They need to release. They need to move on from that. They say, like, you know what? This persona, this energy is not paying off for me or to me. They actually were exhausted to pretend. They were also exhausted to pretend they don't care for you, to pretend that they're fine, to pretend that they don't want you. They were ex exhausted over that. You know what I'm saying? And it says, like, it was a long journey, and they were drained, and they're like, you know what, I can't, I can't continue doing that. They carry so much sorrow, so much grief, and so much depression and sadness. And there was a shocking turmoil into their energies, into where they said, you know what, I want to change. And they realized that it's only you, Libra. You have always been the reason. Have you, you know what the song I'm listening in my head right now? Because I'm a DJ over here. I'm a DJ, babe. You know, my head, my neurons, you know, you might, might be like, why is she crazy like that? Because I have a party every single day in my head. I'm a DJ, babe. Anyways, the song that I'm playing right now to, my, to myself is the reason. I'm not a perfect person you know that reason that's the song I'm, I'm singing right now and i just want you to know i found a reason to be to change who i used to be reason to start over new that song let me leave this here anyways and they felt like they abandoned you they realized that you know i abandoned the only reason i abandoned my person i abandoned this person i abandoned libra and they realized that that was freaking cold and that gave them an emotional storm they were in turmoil they were very affected they were very uh, unstable and they were very affected they felt like they were <laughs> look i'm gonna tell you they were 
and they have healed and to complete that healing they need to come back so it's a return second chance opportunity making amends kind of energy okay um it says right here um this is closure and finality for the both of you now keep in mind that finals doesn't always mean that you are done with them it's just final is cruciating pain of all of the things that you guys could have been through with this person and then you know finally having a new opportunity and uh, there might be some conflict into where maybe you guys are a little bit uncompatible but you know conflict could all always be worked out if you both want it if one of you don't want it then i don't know but i do feel right here that you are their divine feminine they are your divine feminine too. i mean divine masculine i do see that you may be conflicted and hot and cold into what in making any decision here i do feel like whenever they get you <laughs> and reach out to you you're gonna be having like you're gonna be frozen you're gonna literally have no words you're gonna be like um stone wall like uh, like you know like you're not expecting it, it happens uh in a moment of your life that you for real thought that he or she was just by and you know that they were never gonna come back and the way they're coming back so freaking unexpectedly it happens in a regular day you're even maybe just doing your dishes and like ding 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 see, see a request or you see a text message from a number that you don't have and you're like who the heck is this bro oh you know money and then you're gonna realize it's them and you're gonna be like not know how to answer you're gonna be conf so conflicted because you're gonna be like you know and that's why i'm an actress too nickelodeon <laughs> disney actress anyways but i just see right here that this is coming to purify and release and heal for you because you have been exhausted and you also have been drained dragging the situation is because you have been carrying a lot of pain you both have afraid and very cautious and that's not helping you know and it says right here that now it's a good time and ecstasy is coming this person is coming and i do feel right here that you both are in in a way like obsessed but it's not like in a crazy way it's more about like you guys do adore each other regardless of how things end and how you know you guys move with this person um you do love this person and i do see that this person comes around a halloween it's actually talking about halloween at the same time it's talking about october i do see right here that this person hit their breaking point because they realized they were attaching into things that were shallow and empty and, and like nothing important and they felt that was the final straw so keep in mind that this is very important what's about to happen is very deep it's in depth and keep in mind that it's going to continue to help you in your in your awakening and to your gifts as well uh this person is broken and heartbroken and i feel like you are too finally here um uh, you both are stuck with each other into then you know energetically i feel like you may say yeah it's because you felt left out and you were like shocked also so just so you know there's gonna be uh mixed signals and mixed emotions from the both of you but just so you know that they've been wanting to do this and you also in, in a way to perform uh they want you to know that you may have cloudy judgment here because you may not believe in their loyalty but you guys have been together in past lives you also have karmic lessons to be to learn as well and finally here it says there is possibilities again it is risky it says right here divine masculine remember that you have the divine feminine they are your divine masculine and look at this you guys are attached you guys have chemistry you have have a lot like they did run but they're not running anymore and i do see that this message is coming your way in confessions like i said before there is huge possibilities of you guys uh seeing and talk to them and yes they want to work it out with you yes they do so with this said libra i'm gonna move forward i'm gonna move forward with this let's see if i can give you some zodiac signs let's see what zodiac signs and then of course i'm gonna give you an initial because this is a, you know like about a person right so let's see here 
Okay. So we have here Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We got Pisces, a very strong Pisces, a very strong Capricorn, another Libra as well. Um, Taurus as well in Capricorn. So I do see Taurus, Taurus, Capricorn, either or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, this could be uh, another Libra as well. And finally, a very strong Pisces in Scorpio. Super strong, but very strong being a Pisces, okay? Now. Let's move forward as well. Let's go with the initials here. Keep in mind that their initials could be the first, last, middle, or even a nickname. Any other one? Let's see. Okay. They have a lot. <laughs> so, let's see, baby. So, we got here MS and Michelle, KS and KFC, PS and Peter, Z as and Zane, H as and Hamburger, G as and George, F as and Frank. C S and Cat, D S and Diego, V S and Victor, O S and Oscar, and M S and Michelle. And I'm sorry, in W S and William. So these are the possible initials. Again, first, last, middle, or even a nickname. Before I get the heck out completely, I want to give you the astrology dice as well about the situation. You know, to make sure everything is done how it should be done. Uh, let's see here. So we got right away planets, sort of sign in house. So the planets, let's see, I always forget what the planet means. The planet represents the situation and you have Pluto. Pluto pertaining to death and rebirth, out with the old and in with the new, the end of an era, transformation, evolution. Now, the zodiac sign you got, you have a Virgo. And Virgo uh, means ta uh, taking on too much isolation, overly rational, anxious, focusing too much on details, overly organized, overwhelmed. And finally, we got the houses, which is the area of life, and you have the ninth house. Represents expeditions, going to Going the distance, matters of mind expansion, philosophically, mindset, arts, media, creation, sharing matters of the creative mind. So, it's talking, I do feel that this person is going to reach out through social media. That's the main thing that I see for most of you. Uh, when I say may, uh, most, it doesn't mean all of you. You know if it, suits for, if it suits you, this message, or it doesn't. If it doesn't, then I mean, um, I don't know what you want me to do. So with this said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on IG. What the heck are you waiting, bro? Like, follow me on IG. I tend to follow back. Uh, also, I'm on TikTok. I also uh, am on Spotify. So totally free. I talk about multiple spiritual messages and tied in stuff. Just follow me there, too. <laughs> um, if you want to get a personal reading, I am available. I do not offer them for free. You can only book online. You can go on the description box below and find the, the link for that as well as you can actually book directly on my Instagram where there is the links on my bio. So with this said, guys, again, thank you so much. Have an amazing day.